Ooh. Oh, Eddie Ift goes after you too, apparently. No! Eddie yeah. Ift? Yeah, that someone just sent that. I oh, this it. is wonderful! Hey guys, we don't know who's going after us. So send Eddie Ift? That guy who looks like a BMX fucking biker? I hate Eddie Ift. I this is awesome! <laughs> Alright, let's do merch, then we'll do Eddie Ift. Don't spoil it, though. Let's save Eddie Ift. This is amazing. I've always hated this Eddie Ift. I can't believe he knows me. This is epic. What a wonderful day. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, Eddie Ift, apparently. Now, this is strange. Do people know Eddie Ift? Do you know who this guy is? Because Did you I mention his name in your Rene D'Ambrosio song? Because I feel like that's really? the only... I've seen Mark Mary and Pe Eddie Pepitone. Oh, nope. Different Eddie. Eddie Ift is just some comic. I really don't have any... Uh, like, There's no connection here. Eddie Ift is a comic, and he was sort of like one of the semi famous -y comics like before, right when I was getting into comedy stuff, I guess. And I never got him. I don't really even know anything about Pull up his Instagram or something, and we'll see what's going on here. Um, It's not like I got any uh, drama with Eddie Ift. I think I've said shit about him like a hundred times, probably. But, you know, just like how I would say shit about any comic walking around all stupid. You know, like, doesn't mean I know you or have any fucking thing going on with you. Here's Eddie Ift. I'll show you this guy. Let's see. I hope I'm not blocked. Here we go. Um, here he is. He's this comic. Have you ever seen this guy? And again, he looks like one of these BMX, pro BMX guys, right, Benny? He wears like Brixton, Braxton. What would you call that? BMX. Yeah, Brixton. Brixton and... Uh, yeah, like, look at this M guy. M. Erica. Like, doesn't this guy look like he could be, like, a pro skater who had a kid? Right? <laughs> oh, like, he's even on, like, a little BMX thing. So he's a comic. I don't know how, where he was from. He has a podcast that he does out of a van that he made his listeners donate to buy. And when I hear about this guy, I go, how does he make money? He's one of these guys, and there's guys like this where you go, you don't ever hear about him. He doesn't. Seem to have that many fans. How is he making money? What kind of scheme is this guy up to? How is he making money? Who's listening to this? What does he put out there that is so great? Like, who the fuck is this guy? Here he is. But maybe I've been... <laughs> you know what? I make fun of people like this, like throwaway comics like this all the time. Maybe over the years, all he's heard about... I feel like things. you've definitely mentioned him yeah, before. Yeah, but I mention a lot of people. Yeah. You know so what I mean? You, nothing, Where I don't know to anything. Him, to me, world. it's nothing. But maybe he's been getting, oh, dude, this guy, Redberry, said this. And to him, it's like a big thing. So I don't know. I have no idea. We're going to play the tape. But here he is, and he's this comic. And I watch his life, and I, I look at this Instagram, and I go, he's got off-road vehicles. He's going boating. He's got this. Where's he getting money? Where's he getting money? It blows my mind. And he, also, I'll tell you this. He's got one of those where no one else but me would see it. But to me, there's a guilt behind his eyes. There always has been. I got nothing on this guy except for pick. I've never even heard his comedy, I don't think. I don't know nothing about him. I saw him around. I go, there's a guilt in this man's eyes. There's something going on with this guy. And... You know, with me, you go, why do you have a problem with Eddie Ift? I could not tell you. But I'll tell you this. I do have a problem with him. <laughs> Isn't that something? Why do you have a problem with Eddie Ift? What did he do? I don't know. And I'm like, what do you do? No, I'm literally saying I do not. I could not tell you. I just look at this guy and I go, something's up. That's it. So I'm shot and, and i probably have been throwing out his name like as an example guy for like 10 years right <laughs> like hey, you got guys like Eddie Ift. i don't know anything about him so i'm dying just like you are to open this here tape Called and bobby Kelly. oh he's on kevin brannon okay so show. the guy who sent this someone also did send a shorter clip but i hate shorter clips. i hate I shorter clips but the guy who sent that long one said that it's at 37, so I don't know 37 seconds? 37 seconds. It's got to be. It's only a two-minute clip. It's only a oh. two-minute clip that you sent, so. Oh, then that's the whole thing. Never mind. Okay. I thought that was a longer podcast it's for some reason. It's called Eddie Ift Goes After Red Bar. And here we go. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious. Oh, wait. Did I send you another one before that? 
Hold hey, on. this jewels, you know. I'm sorry, uh, I'm just trying to make I know, sure the people have the best possible And I'm possible just experience. trying to be host. No, you can all do that All I've one. got that is one. this clip. This is all I got okay, in my inbox one. here, okay? Called Bobby Kelly, Bobby Belly. I'm sorry. Apologize to them, not to me. I'm sorry to everybody. <laughs> so here they are, my buddies. You got Kevin Brennan. I'm over you. You either come on the show or enough with you. Um, and here's Eddie Ift. I guess he's a guest. Here's some, uh, I guess that's Laura Loomer there, and uh, me if I was a fucking nothing. <laughs> so let's see what happens here, you know. I didn't know it was going to be Kevin Brennan related. No, it's uh, okay. It's not as special to me. I thought Eddie mm -hmm. Ift just out of nowhere started an assault, but it's tied to this, so. Mm. Well, but let's hear. I mean, here's what I'll say before we play this. In my mind, this guy don't even know I exist. Wait, don't scream at me for interrupting. Okay. But is he the guy who was with Brad Williams during the rape tape? Yes. And the fact that I didn't even know, it, you know, <laughs> to Brad Williams, this me exposing Brad Williams switcheroo rape tape is like the biggest event in his life. To me, I don't even remember who was in it. <laughs> No, yes, either. that was Eddie Yip. You know him. Got he was the it. guy sitting next to Brad Williams when I... Now I know why he might hate me. <laughs> Remember when we exposed Brad Williams for the Carlos Mencia switcheroo? This was the guy sitting right next to him. How did no one say that up until... That's how forgettable of a guy he is that no one said that till now? Jules, this was like a huge thing. Brad Williams. Yeah, I, I mean, I was just scrolling up in the chat, and I saw someone say that. I had no idea. You know, you never want me to. I'll, t I'll discuss it with you offline. Uh, Ashley Butterfield says, ha, 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 ha. Thank you. Okay, everybody. what are you going to discuss with me offline? I just wanted to explain to people why maybe you're not feeling well today, but we had a discussion about don't tell them why you're not feeling well today. But if you don't tell them you're not feeling well, they think you're... It's worse. You want to tell them. It's like me. I go, guys, today I'm in a lot of pain. So if I make a mistake, you can tell them. The, Jules. And it, she's not always on her period, but Jules today got a very severe period <laughs> right on the day of my show, my big show. So if she's she's sitting there like I want everyone to know she's sitting there like this in mega cramps. If you've ever had period and she's going. Ugh. So if she's a little slow today, that's why. She told me, though, before, and don't tell them I'm on my period, because then they're going to think I'm on my period every time. In my mind, I feel like you yeah. said I have my period like a hundred times in the last six months, and so now to everyone, yeah. I'm the period guy. Yeah, but believe me, being on your period is better than you just being you, being like this. So, now you got it. Now we're all good. They're going to like you. They're believing they're going to embrace you. They love you, Jules. Let it bleed. <laughs> I can't believe this blood comes out of that slash. And we discussed this. I didn't even think I was being so bad. I thought we were having a great day. <laughs> oh, I thought you were being bad. Oh, no. Uh, just FYI. So, <laughs> but we're good now. See, now everything's good. For me. <laughs> Temporarily. All right. Jules is, don't make fun of her. Um, blood. But yeah, a lot of blood comes out and chunks come out. And gooblers, what do you call those? Yeah. Stress scoopers. <laughs> if the trail recon oh. guy knows what that's from, I'll give him another hundred dollars. All right. <laughs> you want to see the EDF clip? Yeah. Or are they still doing period jokes? Don't do period jokes. That's a me too. And we'll report you to the police. <laughs> um, we could hear the pain in every look, someone word. Someone says, oh, look, Sheila Alien says sympathy for Jules. Mike's picking on you. Oh, please, Sheila Aliens, you're lucky you're alive. I'm going to start picking on you with a fucking gun soon, so Shout you better stop. Sheila, Sheila Aliens. I'd like to bury Sheila Aliens in a hole <laughs> in Green... What is it? Camp Greenwich. Is that right? Yeah, Camp Green Lake. Camp Green Lake. I just watched the movie Holes, by the way, so I will have a lot of Holes-related references. Have you seen Holes? I will say this. You could go ahead and see Holes. I liked it. Yes! Um, it stars Shia LaBeouf, and he's sentenced to a camp where he has to dig holes so that he could find something. Um, I'm not going to spoil the movie because Sigourney Weaver is in it, and she'd fucking kill me if I just spoiled the movie. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. You know how I reference like Candy May? I reference some stuff for years and years. Camp Green Lake and Holes? Like, I'll be like, 
I want this guy arrested and sent to where they sent that kid in holes. You're going to hear stuff like that. I want this guy digging holes at Camp Green Lake. You're going to hear a lot of stuff like that over the years. Look, people love Holes. I've been trying to get Mike to watch Holes because it was one of my main childhood movies for like five years. And he refused because he doesn't like kids prison movies. I don't like kids Which prison movies. Which is understandable, movies. but I yeah. was like, but I don't really understand. I was like, this one's lighthearted. It's, it's not so nice, lighthearted. But to Mike, it's like a no, full no, no. horror. Holes was horror. <laughs> holes should have been labeled horror. I mean... Maybe I'll do a whole Holes breakdown for you. Holes is crazy. If I would have seen that as a kid, I wouldn't be here today. I'd be at a mental institution. <laughs> All right. I'm dying to hear what Eddie Yift has to say about me. Okay, yes. Let's... It better not be that I'm a pedophile. We can't have that picking up steam. Or can we? Let's hear this. He called Bobby Kelly Bobby's Cheers. belly. I mean, it's just he takes little shots at people. They're so, it's fucking, it's really hilarious. <laughs> Really hilarious. He did a great one about. He does. He did. He's not talking the, about me. The, the Norton one is good. I was uh, talking the about Matt the documentary. I mean, the 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 Matt Arise one. He made two. It's nice to see Laura Loomer taking a break from politics to be here for uh, comedy. So I, it looks like they're talking about porcelain or that other little kid. What is his name? Not other little kid. As if porcelain. Believe me, porcelain. I don't want any trouble with him. But that other guy. What's his name? Beige frequency. Imagine coming up with this name, Beige Frequency. You know. I know. Imagine this. Unmask Beige Frequency. And by the way, here's what I, my problem with Beige Frequency. Beige, I'd like to go to lunch with you. Why won't you email me and meet me? <laughs> and that fucked up? You know, there's some point in time where you should, out of respect, Beige Frequency. If I say Beige, I would like to meet up with you and go to dinner and discuss culture you should just do it out of respect to culture right so beige i am calling you out again i demand lunch or dinner a friendly sit down so uh it sounds like kevin is talking about these docs that people make it's like get over it these people th those docs suck or you know that's old here you go. He called Bobby Kelly Bobby Belly. I mean, it's just he takes little shots at people. They're so, it's fucking it's really hilarious. <laughs> really hilarious. He did a great one about he does. He did the the, the Norton one. He's is done, good. He uh, the Matter East. I mean, the 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 Matter East one. He made two. That's how good. That's how. I and, you know, speaking of Googlers, stress Googlers, I think Kevin Brennan is one of Michael Rappaport's stress Googlers. <laughs> right? That's my new thing. Oh, yeah, you look like one of Michael Rappaport's stress gobblers, gooblers, from, uh, what is that called? Twisted Solar Sister. Opposites. Solar Opposites. You guys watching Opposites? I hate that show, by the way. Thomas Middleditch is on that show. Easily replaceable, though, too. I could fill in for him if the production is worried. I could do the voice. Baggy sleeve, you're wondering, why is Mike's sleeve so billowy? I've never seen a sweatshirt like this. It's because it's from the girls' section. <laughs> Of the store. I don't buy guys' clothes. I find them to be cringe. All right. Uh, let's hear some more. I mean, let's hear the whole thing. That's how juicy. That's how much meat on the bone there was for the Joe Matteris documentary. He made a sequel. Oh, All these guys so, do is talk it's, about it's, us. It's so entertaining. <laughs> like I, I, I could watch it once a week. It's like why? It's like well, Training Day. I'm like, I'm going to watch Training Day again. It's that good. That's how good the Batteries documentary. Imagine some kind of show. Anytime you're bored watching Red Bar, imagine what it could be. Tune into anytime you go, I don't like this segment of Red Bar. Okay, pause Red Bar and then just tune into a random moment of any other podcast. <laughs> it will be so much worse. So please ease up. Ease up. Every minute of the show can't be the best thing you've ever heard in your life. People are getting like so spoiled from Red Bar. They're like, it was pretty good, but there was this one part out of the nine hours that uh, I didn't care for that much. Okay, can you just not tell me about it? Isn't it the rest good enough? All right, so, like, imagine watching this. And look at this picture with this guy like this on his hand. Like this picture you see up here with this guy with the head in his hands mm -hmm. makes the podcast seem even more boring. <laughs> yes, exactly. And this is like a, this is a Zoom podcast. These are the other guys on a Zoom call. It's like you guys realize you don't have to talk, right? 
You're not forced. To, it's almost like people thought when COVID came, they're like, and you must complete four hours of Zoom per day. So get it done. You guys know you don't have to talk if you don't like it, right? Look how fucking devastated each one of them is. And for what? Two minutes? Their whole show. This is their whole podcast. Two minutes long. All right. Let's see what he says. Day. I'm like, I'm going to watch Training Day again. It's that good. That's There's how good Eddie. the Manorese there, documentaries Eddie. are. I got to get Joe Manorese on. I'm on Joe's show. I think I was supposed to do it today. Joe Manorese? And, uh, Joe what Rogan. show? The, the, his new one? The Boxer? Yeah. yeah. Oh. From Con- when I hear a comedian go, I'm on Joe's show coming up. I think Joe Rogan. Yeah, you don't say I'm on Joe's show. I'm doing, it's a different I'm doing Joe's Joe. show in a couple of weeks. He's doing Joe Manorese. It looks like we've gone down it's okay. again. It's coming back it's coming up. Coming Just ignore it. Don't worry. Me worry? Have you ever seen me worry or flip out or act weird? Uh, let's see. People are going, fuck. All right, so he's doing Joe's show. Okay, so Eddie Ift is doing Joe Matarese's show. Is that really? You do realize that does that's not a thing to do Joe Matarese's show. It's not a show. You're calling Joe Matarese. Call it what it is. I'm going to have a, I'm calling Joe Matarese later. That's it. It's not a show. And uh, what show? The, the, his new one, The Boxer? It, yeah. From contender, contender to contender? Contender to contender, yeah. See what he says. And uh, I didn't know that Joe, there's a guy out there, there's another guy that like trashes people. He's got a podcast and all he does is try to stir it up. He's like Ooh. a, uh, he's like a wannabe Kevin. Like he doesn't have, <laughs> no, like no, no. he doesn't have a quarter of your, he doesn't have, Kevin's a, like, no, nope, I know exactly who you're talking about and he don't want to be me. Trust me. <laughs> you gotta, please. Kevin knows. No, no, no. A wannabe Kevin. I mean, come on, guys. Let's stick to the facts. <laughs> There's another guy. I love this. It's I like so to take it slow with this. Guys. I love this. Together. And this is a new one. There's another guy out there. Ooh, he's coming. He's coming. And he likes to be. They all got this an excuse for why they're being trashed. Okay. Well, let's hear. What do I? What? Do I, what is the excuse this time, Eddie? Trashes people. He's got a podcast, and all he does is try to stir it up. He's like a, uh, he's like a wannabe Kevin. Like he doesn't have <laughs> like half your. He doesn't have a quarter of your. He doesn't have a tenth. Who? Who is it? I I forget Red his name. Bar? Uh, Red bar. I don't know, but he like trashes everybody, just trying to get them to talk about him. So the is people he a comic? I think he was like a wannabe comic or something. Ooh. Maybe Red Bar. I always get nervous when I get a text from you. Asked me to come on the show. I'm like, I wonder why. Shut up, like, Poe. Shut mean? up, Poe. Shut up, Chad. Shut up, Chad. Well, no, because uh, <laughs> Chad can't be on because Eddie won't. Hey, we're ha- talking about Red Bear, you fucking trick. <laughs> Don't throw them off. They could be thrown off. It'll take an hour to get back to Red Bar. You stupid idiot. Don't you know how stupid these guys are? You can't tell anything else. That's while just talking. Annie Lederman all dressed up. Oh, my God. Wow. It does look like if Annie Lederman was a dog shit, stupid, poor ass bitch. Holy shit, doesn't that look like Litterman? Annie Litterman? Hi, Annie. I'm Annie. This is Annie Litterman. Hi, I'm Annie Litterman. I look like Scarlett Johansson. And this is her, and she looks like me. <laughs> Isn't that funny? There's like a Scarlett Johansson thing happening, but they get worse and shittier and poorer as they go down. <laughs> this is funny. I Annie, Annie Litterman. I, I know, we funny. like her. We like her. We like her. We like her. Um, But uh, Annie... This girl, because Annie Lederman, I don't know if you've seen her stand up. Her whole stand up is, so I know I look like Scarlett Johansson if Scarlett Johansson's tits were sawed off by Jason. <laughs> this girl should do stand up going, hi, I know I look like Annie Lederman if, you know, you got to keep going. And then there could be like a bug eventually that's like, I too look like Annie Lederman if it got to this level, you know? All right, let's see what Eddie Gift says. Have it, and then um, oh, and then, and then I was shitting. I was shitting on Jim and Sam's show because they all they all have six dudes, six white dudes they every like day, that, and then they had Sam Morell on. What did they? Patrick's what did you day. do to them that they won't let you on their show? I don't know. They, they said I have to, to ask, but Sam Morell asked to be on the St. Patrick's Day show. You know, are they going to get back to me? Let's go back to what Eddie Gift said. He goes, I don't know his name is uh some some. That's how it always starts, huh? They don't know my name, huh? You want to know my name? Do you need some help? 
I could make you remember it pretty well. <laughs> you don't want that. You want to not know it. It always starts with, I don't know. I should change the name of the podcast to, I don't know his name. I don't know what the hell this guy is. How about that? You see the logo. Go to YouTube.com slash I don't know. It's this guy. He <laughs> dot, dot, dot. That's the name of the show. I don't know. It's this guy. Something red. Oh, red ball. Yeah, I've been through this. Uh, yeah, it's a losing streak. I out there. There's another guy that like trashes people. He's got a podcast and all he does is try to stir it up. He's like a uh, he's like a wannabe Kevin. Like he doesn't have <laughs> like half your he doesn't have a quarter of your he doesn't have a tenth. Who, who is it? Oh, please. I, I forget Red his name. Bar? Red Bar? I don't know, but he like trashes everybody just trying to get them to talk about him. So the is people he a comic? Is that what you guys think? Just trying to get them to talk about me? Or do I have a real hatred and a real reason? Huh? Wouldn't it be nice if it was just trying, Eddie? How about I start digging into your fucking file, huh? Let's see if he says anything more. This guy is so sick of hearing about me. His job title is basically hearing about me. <laughs> Hey, what do you do for a living? I hear about Red Bar, and I have nothing to input, so it's kind of boring to me. And then there's always a girl. You're a whiny little... Stop with that. I had lunch with Bill Maher. He hates cancel culture <coughs> this year. He hates cancel culture. He hates black people, too, he told me. All right, here you go. Text from you asking me to come on the show. Like, I wonder why. Or like, is he going to be mean to me? Well, no, because uh, <laughs> Chad can't be on because Eddie They're won't have it. The and then, oh, um, that's the end? Uh, well, then you edit it out. Um, well, Eddie, uh, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad, but I, um, fuck, I wish there was, let's scare him. Can we scare him? How about this? Everybody go to Eddie If's Instagram and goes, dude, Mike from Red Bar heard what you said about him. He's fucking furious, and he found out what you did. He says that he's putting out an hour-long exposed piece about you that could end your career. Everybody message him this right now. I posted I'm his IG in the okay, chat. Okay, post his IG in the chat. Listen to this. Here's the gist of it. Dude, Mike heard you talking shit about him on Red Bar. Oh, he said that's it. He's exposing it all. He says he's got all this evidence that could end your career. He said he's putting out an hour-long tape next week on Tuesday on YouTube exposing everything you've ever done wrong. Dude, I've never seen him this mad. He says this is the biz biggest expose he's ever done. Say he uh, was promoting this is like everybody, everybody go do that. Everybody. I mean, I'm telling you it'll be worth it. It'll be worth your time. Just to give him that, ooh, that rush of Red Bar. <laughs> Make his blood run cold. How funny is that? And that's all you need to do. And Because they've all done stuff. That's the thing. They've all got a bunch of stuff that they could be canceled for in this day and age if you're trying to be I mean, brand. everyone, if somebody commented on my Instagram and was like, I know exactly what you did and I'm about to expose you. Wouldn't anyone be worried what they're going to say? Somebody says his latest post is his kids, oh, though. No. Should we post on that? No, dude. It doesn't matter. It could be any picture. He's going to get the comment in his feed. But please don't think that somebody else is going to do also, it for you. Also, like every fucking picture he's posted is of a kid. So there's yeah, not really just much option. Do your best. Do whatever you got to do. Trash the fucking place. Listen to this. Somebody goes. Mike, I said, Mike David from Red Bar Radio heard you talking shit about him. You're finished. He's going to do a show exposing everything you've done. Say goodbye to your kids. <laughs> um, Not as good as what I explained to say, but it's pretty. But there's going to be hundreds. Hundred, guys, come on. We could really create chaos if we work together. I know like most people will hear a command and they'll go, ah, eh, somebody a else. Command. Yeah, a command. Guys, I'm telling you, if you all do my commands, we can start big trouble. Just anything you want to say to him. Be like, Mike's furious. He's going crazy. He's nuts. Here's another guy who goes, I said, I wouldn't be putting your kids. Don't know kids stuff, guys. This isn't kids. We do kids with Sam Tripoli, not him. Not everyone is kids. He's not on kids level yet. No, no, kids no. Kids is a special privilege. Sam Tripoli is a free speech, lying, crazy QAnon. We go kids. This, you don't do kids. Not everyone is kids. Don't do kids. His kids are fine. His kids aren't retarded. 
I said, I wouldn't be putting your kid's face online right now. You're in big trouble with Red Bar. <laughs> and he has a spot because it can't be all kids. No kids with him. It's amazing I got to explain that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with his kids. I don't go after everyone's kids. Red Bar knows. That's I mean, not I'm good sure enough. Terrible, but he hasn't He's putting out a crimes. huge project about you. He's putting out a paper. He's writing an essay. He's going to the news. The news is talking to Red Bar about you. Lie. I'm from Red Bar where this episode he did a segment about face fucking a 12 year old girl. What are you talking about? Mike knows this will just increase the amount of kids comments. No, that's not true. Our listeners are actually pretty. It's not like I'm size on Z and they're all out to get me. They're not going to do stuff against me. They respect me. <laughs> Dear Eddie, just a heads up. Mike David from Red Bar says he's coming after you. That's not what I said. <laughs> he says he has info about you that you don't want out. He's going to do a show about you next week. Watch out, please. It's like the telephone game. <laughs> I say something and they're like, Mike said he's going to kill you. <laughs> no. Um, but it's funny to read how these people interpret. Guys, share, share more. I want to hear more. You want to hear a great comment from yeah. Sheila Aliens on his Instagram? She says... Oh, Sheila Aliens? Yeah, because she, she's in the chat. She says, I'd like to fuck that Sheila Aliens. How do you think about that? She's pretty hot, huh? I'll allow it. Hey, Sheila, would you like to have sex with me? Do would I you get to have sex with fractional reserve or whatever? Reverb? <laughs> Reverse? That's a big risk, you know, a lot of by people the way. Know. It could be anybody. No, no, no. I'm fractional reverse. But Sheila yeah. says, this has nothing to do with your kids, but Mike from Red oh, Bar found out and is pissed and is yeah, coming you. after you. That's a great one. <laughs> Any girl that listens to this show, I'm looking to fuck the shit out of you, and I'm gonna. And There's it, a lot of great gra Sometimes you know girls what? message me. How about I'm this? Like, I haven't talked about this too someone. good for Red Bar. There's a lot of great Sheila out there. How about this? Sheila Aliens, you want to continue listening to the show? Then you come over here, you get what's, you, you, what's coming. You want to listen to this show? Come get fucked by the host of it then. You want to hear something? I'll whisper something in your ear while I'm drilling you. You ever <laughs> been drilled by the host? Does Steven Renetta of Law Renetta tell you that? Did you ever expect to hear something like this about you? You know why I'm saying this? The other week I saw Sheila Aliens in one of these comment threads on one of these like offshoot Red Bar Clip channels and she was going, Every time I tune into Red Bar, all I hear is Mike talking about me. <laughs> and I wish I could just listen to a show without hearing him talk about me. And I go, <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. well, well, then maybe stay out of my fucking life. You ever think of that? <laughs> How about don't come near my life and you won't be in the show? People go, why does he talk about? Well, because you're in my fucking space. <laughs> so you don't want to be talked about on the show? Well, how about I fucking have consensual, loving sex with you and Jules could sit there like this na 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 I'll do it and you'll be getting butt fucked in the pussy though cause I don't like uh <laughs> it'll be like <laughs> it'll look like butt fucking but it'll be in the pussy I don't like anal don't sex I don't like anal sex <laughs> but if you're a girl listener watch the fuck out cause there's a chance <laughs> you have a chance with me basically okay here's another comment Eddie Ift Mike David from Red Bar is the angriest he's ever been. And, wait, angriest ever been, ooze, he heard? What is that word? Is this wait. new or is this a typo? Bluegrass, this guy. Here's mine. Oh, he meant to say because. Oh, well, he fucked that up. <laughs> There's just. Eddie, Mike David from Red Bar is the angriest he's ever been because he heard you were talking shit about Red Bar. He says he knows everything. And is going to drop an hour-long showing, I like that, exposing everything. He sounds like he's going thermonuclear. <laughs> okay, I like that. Sex bar, someone says. Sheila wants to be Mike's friend that just kisses him <laughs> like Jake Paul's victim. I'm not kissing you, Sheila. I don't think Sheila has ever even kissed anybody. Uh, here's Tyler. He goes, oh, I said, on. hey, man. millions of gamer suitors oh, yeah. that are dying for okay. dinner with yeah. her. Go click on her picture. It's like a million weird halos and holograms. And then finally you see a girl's face under. Yes, eight. that's what they're into in that crowd. Yeah, I know. Because of what they look like <laughs> underneath all those effects, which is fine. But I'm more into no effects. 
to Janko line. All right. Oh, we got a great Janko line coming up today. I thought Janko was invincible, but we're going to see Janko bomb hard today. All right, listen to this one. Tyler says, I said, hey, man, saw you on Kevin Brennan's show, and I heard you talking about some guy shitting on people. I figured it was Mike Redbar on his latest episodes. He uh, saw what you said on Kevin's show. Needless to say, he's fucking pissed, dude. Like, I went through his content, and honestly, I don't think I've seen him pissed like this before. In the newest episode, he said that his next show would be at least an hour-long expose on you. He's shown some really fucked up evidence against you. That's good. Because <laughs> imagine to a comic, <gasps> that would make the, it, hundreds of comments come. Because it could be possible in today's day and age. That's why I'm saying, give him a scare. Give him a fucking scare. His- Red Bar, the show that scares people. His photos get an average of 8 to 10 comments, ah! sometimes like 18. That's what I mean. How are you a blue check mark making? Like, what's going on? This- There's a lot of these weirdo guys that have no fans, but they have a blue check and money. And you're going, what's actually happening? But this photo that everyone's commenting on, I assume, had seven comments when I first started oh, this okay. page, and now it has 52. 52 comments. Thank you. Keep going. Mike is so fucking right. Thank you. <laughs> this guy is gonna freak out. He will. He's the type of guy to freak out too. I mean, look at. He's that type, right? Where he gets like scared. Uh uh-uh. uh Um. Okay. Who did we have next year today? Barry Ribs. We should show, and then we'll move on. Oh yeah, this is. But the people uh, if you ever catch anybody segment. even alluding to me, isn't that so funny? We love it. We really like it, and that's <laughs> not like a cover up. We really like it. Uh, Red Bar, the show. With the guy that hisses and scares oh, wait. people. Well, they mentioned that. Should you show the video of the guy doing the hiss? Remember we asked <gasps> yes. the listener hisses? Send, send, send. Mike needs to hiss. I got a hiss for you coming up. I thought we were just going to be friends who hiss. What's the deal with this labeled? They used to be a Neil Brennan clip channel, and now they're right. You mean Kevin Brennan and... Sounds like it makes sense. Sounds like it makes sense. What's the deal? What do you mean? People turn to Red Bar. They turn, yeah, to Red Bar. Very rich. Change. you rather have a guy holding a gun on you or a guy that's about to hold a gun on you